Hi YouTubers, welcome to my channel. So I'm coming at you with a makeup tutorial. I originally wasn't going to do a tutorial, but I had this makeup idea in my head and I was like, let me go film it before I forget it. Because I come up with so many ideas in my head and I just never take the time out to film out the idea. So this is the look that I decided to give you. I use like a million different glitters because I was not about to purchase like a pressed pigment or a glitter that was loose if I have like a whole bunch of glitter and I can make it myself. So yeah, so I decided to use like different colors. I used turquoise and I used blue and I used purple. So yeah, I use a lot of glitters and they're mostly from BH Cosmetics or Sally Girl. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoy this video and make sure that you give it a thumbs up, you comment and you subscribe. All right, bye guys. Okay guys, so I'm going to use my um, paint pot um, by MAC in the color of Painterly. Next, I'm going to go in with my Makeup Geek eyeshadow called Chickity and I'm going to apply this as my transition color. Next, I'm going to go in with this eyeshadow um, called Silk by the Kat Von D Metal Palette. And then I'm going to go in with the color Ribbon just to smoke out um, my crease color. Now I'm going to use this NYX Jumbo Pencil in the color Black Bean and I'm just going to apply this all over my eyelid. Um, this just helps to darken the color that I'm going to apply on top. Now I'm just going in with that color silk again. I'm just going to make sure everything is blended out. I know this looks a hot mess guys, but I promise it'll look good at the end. So next I'm going to use the color jet and I'm just going to smoke out um, on the outer edges of my eyes. Now I'm going to go in with this blue color called Nibu Nebula, I think I'm saying it right. And I'm just going to take that same color called Jet and I'm just going to apply that on my outer edges of my eyes again. Now I'm going to use this color called Velvet, um, it's also by the same palette and I'm just going to apply this in my crease area. Now I'm going to use my MAC Mix and Medium, this is going to hold the glitters onto my eyes so I won't have a lot of fallout. Next I'm going to use this mixture um, that I put together. It's mostly the BH Cosmetics Glitter Collection in Mermaid Blue, Royal Blue, Sapphire, and then my Sally Girls um, Glitter Collection in Gold Digger. Now I'm using that same jumbo eye pencil and I'm just going to line my waterline. And then I'm going to use um, this liquid liner that I had got from my local beauty supply store. I don't know the name exactly. Next I'm going to go in with that same um, glitter concoction that I made and I'm going to place this underneath my waterline. Then I'm going to apply some falsies. These are by Coco Lash. I don't know the name of them because I have opened so many and I just don't know the name now because I didn't um, keep the boxes. Now 
Now I'm going to use the Prep and Prime um, highlighter and Peach Luster and I'm just going to uh, cover the dark spots that's on my face. I've been breaking out a lot lately so I just need a little bit more coverage. Now I'm going to use my NARS Radiant Concealer in the color Biscuit and I'm just going to conceal underneath my eyes. Next I'm going to use my Makeup Forever Foundation Stick. Um, this is also a full coverage foundation and um, I know that it seems like it looks really light on camera but it's not so and plus when I use my powders and warm it up by contouring it will all come together I promise now I'm using the Maybelline Rewind concealer in the color neutralize and I'm just gonna highlight my face And I'm gonna set that concealer with my uh, Sasha buttercup powder Next, I'm going to contour with my Black Opal foundation stick in the color Black Opal. I mean, sorry, Black Walnut. <laughs> And I'm just going to make my contour a little bit more sharper, so I'm using that same translucent powder. Now to warm up my face, I'm going to use my Armand setting power powder. I can't talk today. My Armand setting powder just to give warmth to my face. And of course, I'm going to snatch my nose like I do for every video. Next, I'm going to go in with the Becca highlighter in the color Champagne Pop. This is like one beautiful highlighter that I always recommend. Now I'm going to use the Palladio Herbal Lip Liner in the color Naked. This liner is a little bit more um, neutral and natural if you don't want something that's um, a little bit too much. Now I'm gonna apply the ColourPop lipstick in the color Trap. Next, I'm just applying my LA Girl Glaze lip paint in the color Whisper. Now I'm gonna go in with my matte cork lip liner just to deepen it up a little bit more. All right, so this is the final tutorial. Hope that you guys enjoy the look. Make sure you give it a thumbs up, comment, and then subscribe. All right, bye guys. Join the army of the shadows.